Hey friends, it's Rosie from iHeartRecipes.com and I'm going to show you how I make my Tex-Mex corn casserole. So I'm going to get started off with some self-rising flour. We're going to add that into a mixing bowl along with some yellow cornmeal. Once those two ingredients are in there, we're going to sift them until they're well combined and now we can start adding in some more ingredients. One of those ingredients will be some cayenne pepper. Next, we're going to add in a generous amount of ground cumin. Followed by that ground cumin, I'm going to add in some onion powder. I'm also going to add in some garlic powder. This is going to be well seasoned. And now we're going to add in a nice amount of kosher salt. Let's add in some half and half at this time. And followed by the half and half, we are going to add in some eggs. Off camera, I did add in some melted butter. And once those ingredients are in there, we're just going to mix until everything is nice and well combined. It's like a cornbread batter, okay? So, off camera, I diced up some nice crisp veggies. I have some onions, some bell pepper. I have green, yellow, sweet red bell peppers, and I also have some jalapenos. I'm going to head over to my stove top and I'm going to drizzle in some uh, vegetable or olive oil into a skillet and we're going to get that oil nice and hot over medium heat. And now we're going to add all the ingredients that we chopped up into the pan. We're going to cook these uh, nice crisp veggies until they're nice and translucent. Then we will turn the heat off completely and head back over to our mixing bowl. And in this mixing bowl, I'm going to add in some frozen corn. If you want to use fresh corn, you certainly can. And now we're going to add in a nice amount of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can leave it out. And now we're going to add in the veggies that we sauteed earlier. Last but not least, let's add in a nice amount of sharp cheddar cheese. I like to shred my own cheese. And now I'm going to add my corn casserole batter into my baked dish and I'm going to place this in the oven on 350 uncovered for 40 minutes. Once it's done, this is the finished look. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to print out this recipe from my blog, iHeartRecipes.com.